implementation is not a new process, but for those of us who are new to its benefits, I've recruited Sammy from Fermenting Australia to teach us more. Tell me a little bit about why fermenting is so good for us. Well, there's so many different benefits of fermentation. So the first one is, is supporting our digestion. I always say the saying shouldn't be you are what you eat, it should be you are what you absorb. So eating fermented foods really can help us absorb and assimilate our food. Mm. It's great for our immune system, which is pretty important right now as mm. well. All right, that sounds awesome. Yeah. Give me chopping. What are yeah, we doing? Great. Which okay. one are we actually making? Well, we're going to make a really basic sauerkraut. So we're going to cool. use half green cabbage, half red cabbage. Yep. We're going to use about a quarter of each cabbage. Okay, cool. Okay, so you can start chopping. I always say chopper's choice, so if you want to chop thick and chunky, you can. If you love to be nice and thin and fine, it's entirely up to you. It's so great that we're really starting to understand more and more about the human microbiome and the importance of having a really diverse gut microbiome specifically. We have about 30,000 different strains of, of bacteria in our gut alone. So probiotics are our good bacteria. So pro means for and biota means life. So it's for life, good life. Um, so really it's these beneficial bacteria that support our gut, support our microbiome. When we repopulate our gut with this really wide, diverse range of beneficial bacteria, we start to get this real transformation of our health as well. Let's add the salt Excellent. and then do we, I can get in and give this a mix You can my totally and the salt's going to help that okay because through the process of osmosis it's going to draw the liquid from the veggies nice. so it's really cool. So for a lot of people you know they might not be a sauerkraut fermented type food person so in that case supplementing would be a really good idea. You can't go wrong absolutely <laughs> you know and I think covering everything from all ends of the spectrum you know from food-based probiotics to supplement probiotics you know it's, it's going to be so beneficial for you. Win-win. We're understanding more and more that bacteria aren't these things that are bad and need to be eliminated. In fact, that you know we need to really support this wide, diverse range of probiotics. Up to 70 to 80 percent of our immune system is actually based in our gut. By having a wide range of beneficial bacteria in our gut that can really support our health and our immune system, we're going to be much stronger constitutionally to to deal with any kind of things that may assault our immune system. So, Sammy, yeah. I've been giving this a good squish Beautiful. for a couple of minutes now. Now, we're going to pop this into the jar. And then how long can I leave this for? So what I usually say is after two or three days, you're going to start to get some bubbles, some activation, some expansion. After two or three weeks, you're going to start to have what I would call a pretty green or new sauerkraut, but it's fragrant, it's delicious, it's flavoursome and ready to eat. After two or three months, if you can wait that long, you know, those flavours are going to start to mellow and sour and develop and you're going to have a really beautiful, rich, delicious sauerkraut. So I think if there's one thing we can do, it's really at least support ourselves with these live bacteria that, you know, I think they've got our back and they're going to help us through these times as well.